Hello, <laughs> again. I'm going to talk about the coronavirus. I'm going to talk to this tree. I'm going to talk about the coronavirus in other countries. Now, the coronavirus is spreading like wildfire in Italy. The same for Iran plus the United States. It's also spreading rapidly in the United States. Now, as of this moment, um, China claims that no more new cases have come out of Wuhan. That's what they claim. Now, I don't know how true it is because, look, China has known about this virus for maybe decades. And they didn't say anything then, okay? So I don't know how true that is. Now, my theory, there's no medical evidence to <laughs> back it up, of course, is that this particular virus is used to the extreme filthy conditions that are in China and particularly in the Chinese market okay therefore the Chinese people have some sort of natural immunity toward this virus even though they did get sick but they have some kind of built up natural immunity because they're used to being in this filthy environment that they have been in for what decades okay and the Chinese are used to have built up a natural immunity uh, from this virus, from other bacteria and other germs. Um, and so they have a better immune system. Now, in Italy, now, Italians, Italy is basically a clean country. It's not perfect, but it's basically kind of a clean country. They serve clean food. Therefore, they have no immunity from this virus. None. Because this virus thrives in extreme filthy conditions like, the, like in China. Italy has no, Italians have no immune system. They have no immune system against this virus because it's too clean. The Iranians are dropping like flies. Why? Because they, they don't have any uh, immune system either. Now, although the Iranians, you know, they holler, scream, and blow snot a lot, but still, uh, they don't eat unclean meats. Therefore, they have they don't have any immunity uh, from unclean meats, like bats. They do not eat unclean animals. So they don't have an immunity either, so they're dropping like flies. Now, the United States is reasonably clean, but still, this virus has run rampant in the United States. Why? Because the United States is a relatively clean country. We have relatively clean food. And so, Americans have no immune system for this virus that thrives in filthy conditions. Now, if you, now you take like India. Every square inch of India has filth on it, or every square inch of India has either garbage or trash on it. If an American kid went to India, they would be dead in 30 days because Americans are not used to that kind of filth. But yet the Indian children don't, don't die. In fact, they live a normal lifespan, 70, 80 years old. Why? Because their bodies are used to this extreme filth. They, their bodies are used to extreme filthy conditions. They have a natural immunity, but if an American kid go to India, they'll probably die in 30 days. Now, Nigeria is filthy. Therefore, the Nigerians have a kind of an immune system to certain uh, bacteria, to certain uh, viruses. They have a natural immune system because it's filthy. They're used to filth. But if American goes to Nigeria, they might get sick. Okay? But yet, you know, uh, my Nigerians thrive in that and that's bum them. Uh, now, when I was a kid, we were poor, but we were clean relative we were pretty clean and I and my sister we always got our colds twice a year we got the winter cold and then we got the summer cold it was just like clockwork we get it every year two colds a year okay uh, and then there was this other family that we lived very close to they were poor and filthy and they never got a cold and we used to ask them why don't you ever get a cold we always get one twice a year why is it is that you never get a cold. They never could answer us. So we figured it out as children. We figured out the fact that, well, they filthy anyway. they very, very filthy. So therefore, they cannot catch a cold. Because they have an immunity, a natural immunity to cold. Because they're around so much filth, they are filthy anyway, that they have this natural immunity. 
tore, they never tore the cold. They never got the cold. They never got the flu. They never got mumps, measles, or chicken pox. And we got all three. We got mumps, measles, and chicken pox. Even though we had been inoculated, okay? Because we had no immunity. Okay? But this particular family, they were always, they waddled in filth. So they had this natural immunity toward, against, if you want to use that word, cold, flu, viruses, and any kind of measles, like any kind of bacteria, like chicken pox, etc. They never got sick. But we did. People who live in filthy conditions, like in China, particularly that wet market where they sell all that nasty meat, all of them have a natural immunity toward, because they're around filth 24-7. They've been around filth 24-7. They've been around it for probably decades. So they have this natural immunity. But when this virus comes in the United States and Italy, man, we get slain. By that virus, we get really, really sick because we don't have any natural immunity. The United States is too clean. Italy is too clean. Iran is too clean. So that's my theory. Now, a lot of people are saying that this virus mutate, mutates. Okay, that's stupid. Like, that's some big deal. That's not a big deal because all living organisms mutate. I mean, you got the amoeba and paramecium's in the swamp. But if they go, if you put the the amoeba and the paramecium in a cold climate, they're going to mutate. There are bacteria that is um, more akin to very hot temperatures, like in Yellowstone uh, Park, and and then some that thrive in Antarctica. Antarctica. So all living organisms mutate. If you put an African in Norway, his skin probably will get lighter and lighter and lighter. If you put a Norwegian in Africa, his skin will probably get darker and darker and darker. All living organisms mutate depending on the environment. So it's no surprise that this virus has mutated. They say it's now into two distinct uh, types. But that's, that is no surprise because they come from an extreme filthy country. To these clean countries. Okay? But I hope all is well. I hope y'all be safe. Drink your vitamins. Yeah, drink your vitamins. You can drink those now. Take your vitamins. Orange juice. Be safe, y'all.